You know what's funny? That's a great question. I, I'm, I'm very undereducated on the entrepreneurs and successful people in the world. My favorite success story is my dad. He came here with nothing. Yeah. Zero. Good example. I lived in a studio apartment a quarter the size he's of this living. studio. Yeah, he's young, he's 62. He's only 20 years old, 22 years older than me. Still working then. <sighs> On fire. It's understanding that you have to provide value. Too many businesses right now on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, every post they put out is buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. Here's where I'm gonna be. Check me out, buy my book, check out my experience. Watch me on my show. And nobody's providing value. So the prior book I wrote to this was called Jab, 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 Right Hook. Give, 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 ask. And it gave people a formula of how to put out content that actually gave people enough value that you then had them in a consideration to buy your stuff. Where do you spend your money? Like in a sense of where you maybe shouldn't? Convenience. Like anything that saves me time. Yeah. Right, like I, I don't wanna do anything. Like, like other than what I want to do. So anything that like, I, I have multiple assistants, driver, like all that's like, so that's one place. Um, I, this is ridiculous. Something happened when I was 10 that really was a telltale for me. On my 10th birthday, my grandma took me to Toys R Us and they had Cabbage Patch Kids which were impossible to get. So I took my birthday money and bought my sister a Cabbage Patch because she was with me. I, I don't like stuff. And I never, I don't like stuff. I like experiences. I will overspend on vacations like crazy. Like crazy food, right? Like I'll, I'll be ridiculous with that kind of shit. But I don't like stuff, cars. Like I'm not a stuff guy. I'm, I'm also, I'm saving. Mm -hmm. Like I'm trying to do some shit out here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm 46 years old, I'm young. And so I feel like there's a shift that can make people work harder. The big one that I push is you're gonna die. Like, like if you're complain, like to me, life is broken down into complaining and not. So if you're not complaining, well then I have no, I have no advice for you. I'm, I'm pumped. Like you did it. Like, like I have friends who make forty-two thousand dollars a year, um, work nine to four, kind of, with an hour and a half lunch and forty-five minutes of YouTube and ten minutes of bullshitting and an hour of complete waste of time in a meeting. So they're kind of working like six, you know, hours a week, right? But. <laughs> But, but they're pumped right. and, and, and they text me, these are high school friends, and they'll text me like how happy they are to be the coach of their kid's baseball team. And you know, like that's amazing. Like that, that seems very obvious to me. Like that's like, that's right. The other thing I'm spending a lot of time on is how much we struggle with our relationship in time and with time. Uh, you know, we get sold so many things like life is short, which you know, I think all of us at this point know, depending on the context that you look at a statement or a situation, it changes the altercation, but so many of the rules in society of when you're supposed to have your life figured out, get married, accomplish, is predicated on a world where people live to 45 years old. It's just the reality of it. So much of what we're affected by is how our grandparents were affected by their parents and grandparents, and those fuckers were dying at 40. Of course you should have your life figured out at 30 when you're dead at 47. <laughs> the average income in the US is 54,000, 55,000. The top 1% of earners in America make 450,000 a year and above. If, you're, if you make $450,000 a year in America, you are very, very, very wealthy. We don't even begin to think somebody's got anything going on if they don't make a million a year. And a million a year in all the craziness now feels like nothing. Right. right, so I think we have the conversation super wrong and then there's a whole nother combo. Do you know how many miserable fucks I know that make four million a year and hate their life and everything sucks shit? And do you know how many people that make a buck 30 or 65 that I know that love life? Like we have a complete fucked up combo of what success looks like. And so I definitely feel like I learned hard work by watching my parents. Um, and so it's why I talk so much about hustle because it's one of the things that people can actually adjust and turn to. I, I watch people give advice completely predicated on natural talent and DNA and I'm like, look, like I get it, like I can throw a football every day for nine hours a day, I'm just not physically built to be competitive at the highest levels. So yeah, I do think, you know, if anybody watching right now, if there's anything they take away, it's like, look, like you're gonna only be so pretty, you're only gonna be so smart, like, you, like th there's, there's things that are gonna be natural and then there's things that you can actually control. 
I do believe, and I don't know if I'm right or wrong, I don't, but I do believe that work ethic is a taught behavior. It's something you do have more control over. Um, and yeah.